What's up, Hustle family? In this video, there's going to be no BS, no fluff, nothing for sale. At the end of this video, if you follow throughout the entirety of it, you will have your NFT collection generated, minted, and deployed ready for the world to purchase. You don't have to know any code at all. You won't even have to navigate any code, and you won't have to pay a single penny. That's right. This is the video I've been excited for as I've finally found a way that you and I can generate, mint, and deploy an entire NFT collection to the blockchain for free with no code. And we are going to run through this step by step to ensure that this is the only video you will need to watch. If you have your layers or your art ready, but you don't have an NFT minter, a minting dApp, a smart contract, you don't know Solidity, this is the place for you and I want nothing from you but hey once you generate your collection leave a link down below because I always love looking at what the hustle family creates so let's dive into this now this is under the assumption that you already have your layers and now what do I mean I mean you have your backgrounds you have say your headgear shirts accessories which is super easy you can do that on Photoshop you can do that on many free apps like my paint and if you have no idea how to make layers which is the easiest part I will leave a card right up here which will show you how to once again for free create all of the layers you need for your NFT now this is really the base part once you have your layers that's usually when we hit a roadblock and if you're like me that roadblock came as I don't know how to code and I don't want to pay hundreds if not thousands of dollars to have my artwork minted, deployed, and generated. So this is what we're going through to get you all three of those steps without code or payment. So the first thing you want to do is, of course, you have all of your layers on a file on your computer. Now, you must follow this step by step because all of the coding is done on the back end and all of the coding that has already been done needs specific inputs. That means your folder names have to fit this structure or it will not work okay so it's easy you don't have to pay anything you don't have to code but you do have to give the code that is already in place for free the correct input to be able to correctly generate mint and deploy your nfts so this is the base folder all of your different layers must go into a folder that is labeled input underscore images that's the first step so you're going to take all your backgrounds your heads your bodies your legs whatever layers you have you're going to create a new folder called input underscore images all lowercase now we're also going to be doing this because this will do rarity for you this will not only mint your nfts at a base layer this will mint them with the correct rarities that you want you'll be able to choose whatever rarity you want if you want one of ones you will be able to do that as well so this is fully encasing everything you could want when going to mint NFTs. So we have our input images. Now we're going to open this up. Now, yes, this is pretty basic in here. You see we have six different layers. But one thing I wanted to note about this is if you were using two words, there must be an underscore between them. As you can see, left eye and right eye is put into this folder as left underscore eye and right underscore eye. You will also notice that all of these are completely lowercase. Now remember, I want to make sure that you have zero issues going into this, so I'm trying to break this down as specifically as possible all lowercase if you have more than one word those words must be divided by an underscore this little underscore right here right underscore i so now let's actually go into one of these folders where the images will be stored and we can show you how to store them correctly to get the rarities you want so let's go ahead and go to face now inside of input 
you have your layers. Inside of each layer, you must have the file if you want rarities, which I'm sure many of you do. Rarities is a huge selling point. You must label your rarities, and this is how we label them. All underscore, common, rare, super rare, and legendary. Now, the order in which you do this does not matter. It just matters that you have that keyword. The code on the back end is going to read the keyword and let you assign a specific percentage to these assets based on the keyword it finds inside of your file. Again, all underscore, and if you have two words like super rare, you must underscore them, or I'm sorry, all lowercase with an underscore if you're using more than one word. So in the case of super rare, we would have super underscore rare. So again, input images, your layers, inside of each layer, you will have this common through legendary. Now this, when you put it into the code, it is going to kick back a percentage or a slider that you can use to choose say hey out of a hundred percent I want five percent to be legendary I want uh, twenty percent to be super rare I want another twenty five percent to be rare and the other fifty percent to be common that will happen once we upload this file to our coding tool that we're going to be used again you're not gonna have to even look at any lines of code to do this so let's go ahead and go further and open up let's say the rare now again you will notice this is where we have our actual layer images so we have input images the assortment of layers inside each one of those layers we have the rarity broken down and inside those specific rarities inside the layer we have our actual images stored Granted, it does take a minute to organize this file in the appropriate way for the code to be able to read it, but you aren't having to go out and learn how to build the code yourself. Granted, I am going to be doing a tutorial on all three of these steps in a coding manner. So if you have no idea how to code, I am going to show you how to code all of these, including the smart contract, the minting dap, and the actual generator. <coughs> Again, you will notice inside of this file it is all lowercase and any words are separated by an underscore. So let's go back and quickly review before we get to the next section. We have our base folder which contains everything we just saw labeled as lowercase input underscore images. When we open that we have the different layers that we want. Now please note that these words are specific to your collection. If you don't have a left underscore I specific layer then you wouldn't be labeling this as left underscore I. You'd be simply labeling it as whatever that layer is. Say you have a weapon. Well then you would just name it as lowercase weapon so then we would go into it now once we're in here we have our common through legendary rarity assignments and once we go into those we have our extra file or we have our actual images being stored in here this is also going to eliminate the need for you to have a hosting service like IPFS or pinata which of course pinata if you're uploading say anything more than uh, I'd say 50 images or 50 NFTs you're gonna have to pay for a plan and nobody wants to do that so this is the file that you need now once you have that file and let me trade this over we're going to be using a tool called lm nft now let me uh, pull this up here on the window capture for you just like that so this is lm nft the home of nft creation this is the actual these people are the ones that have built this generator smart contract minting dap for you and have launched it out into the world for free now once you're on lmnft you're going to go to the top right and hit create now you're going to be presented with two options when you get here if you already have your nfts generated that means if you have a code that has already compiled all of your layers into images and all you want to do is mint <coughs> all you have to do is click new collection 
upload those already minted NFTs or already generated NFTs and this will put them onto the blockchain for you. This is for people that already have a NFT minting or NFT generator. These are people that have already compiled their layers into complete randomized images and they're just ready to push it onto the blockchain. What we're going to be doing is generate collection, create and launch your randomly generated NFT collection. This is where we're going to take that file that we just created with all of our assets and all of our rarities and we're going to pump it in. We are going to name it. So let's just say uh, Hustle Family NFT, <coughs> HF NFT. <coughs> Now, what this is, is anytime you look at an NFT collection, like say on Etherscan, there will be a collection symbol. Say the Bagner's collection has bag, Board Ape Yacht Club has Bay C. So this is just going to be a tag and of course, when you want it to launch. Now we can set this to launch today, tomorrow, the day after. Uh, we can set it to launch in a couple weeks whenever we want the collection to launch this is basically hey this is when it will go live once we have this uh, simple little uh, three bar filled out we will hit next and this is where we will drop our input folder below to start so we will take that folder that we just made and we will drag it and we will drop it now it says no valid files were submitted because I am using the example input folder. But what's gonna happen is once you drag and drop that, everything will be done for you. It will generate your NFTs, it will then allow your NFTs to be pushed to the blockchain and it'll do it automatically for you and it will then allow your NFTs to be minted. Now the only thing past that is the upload collection. Now this is one specific reason, that, or there's one specific reason that there's an extra step. All that is, is your sliders for rarity. This will fully generate your NFTs and push them to the blockchain, but the only thing it needs from you is rarity definers or rarity defined. That means each one of those individual folders that you uploaded inside of your input images that have a tag for rarity, such as common, rare, super underscore rare, or legendary, needs to be defined. Now again, there's no code and it doesn't cost anything, but all you have to do is take a simple slider and take the 100% chunk or pie chart and tell it or allocate those rarity percentages to each one of those files. Now you don't have to do this for every single layer. Once you define a common layer rarity percentage, it will be applied to all. Same with legendary, rare, or super underscore rare. So there it is. Once you define your rarities just by moving a simple slider, you will then move to step four, which is success. Now LMNFT is nice because it allows you to mint on really a multitude of different blockchains. You can mint on Polygon, you can mint on Solana, you can mint, I believe even on Clayton, you can mint your NFTs from LMNFT. Now all I ask from you is if this video helped at all or if you are in the crypto or NFT space, maybe throw some love to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on, and pump the hustle stock by hitting the like button underneath this video. If you have any questions or need any help, of course, leave a comment. The community here is absolutely amazing. It always has been and it always will be. I absolutely love you guys, whether you are subscribed or not. I hope this video helped. As always, stay profitable, don't let FOMO bite you in the ass, and keep on hustling.